What the doodle is a tutorial anyway? A tutorial is a long step-by-step -step adventure that explains a valuable talent, process and technique in a way that fits you. It can be said that a tutorial is the finest personal learning experience. On the high end of the spectrum, when you refine a tutorial, what you get is a series of 12 steps. And they go by the name of lectures. So a tutorial taken to a proper maximum makes a real professor and the resulting lectures extremely valuable. The college mimicry is precisely as old as fraud. Once you convert lectures to a standardized education, where they are meant to manufacture grades that make the institution and the mimic look legitimate, all worth is lost in the noise that can only be memorized. When a tutorial is forced, it becomes fraud. On the other end of the spectrum, you have manuals, reference, and also something very special. It is a form of instruction called the cookbook, where the reader is presented with recipes for things that are just too hard to grasp from the manual. The cookbook is the birth of context that later makes the tutorial above precious. Tutorials have one very small problem. They lack the culture of connecting to other tutorials. That is to say, if someone gets stuck, they should have more than enough links to click on to study all the topics that surround the place that they got stuck at. This is, of course, the role of that honest professor. The professor helps the novice navigate to the subject that will strengthen their understanding and help them resume the main tutorial. Again, most professors are just fraud. The way you catch that is by asking yourself if you gained the talent that you are after when you get done with their lectures. If you were tricked into thinking that you were not quite ready yet to grasp the lectures, yeah, you just get processed precisely like a sausage to make that school stay open for another few years. Talk to the head of your school and get them to list all the differences between a diploma mill and their own institution. See how well that goes. <laughs> a lot of students, of course, agree to the scam because they get a diploma, which is a requirement to go to the next school that will give them the next diploma. And eventually they have the necessary certification to open a business or a practice or get some investors or just get to the point where they reconsider their life choices. But fraud is fraud. Nobody wins. The student is just tricked into not learning at all. And nothing, nothing is worth that price of fake education. Enough years of make-believe education can permanently disable a mind in all the other haste of life. You should never think to yourself as plainly as, I'll just go to college. Always consider mastering a great number of subjects on your own and then opening up a series of small companies until you get one that works really well. Alas, if you must get that fraudulent diploma, then you owe it to yourself to first learn all the subjects that you will be taking, but for real.
and then go to college or university. And please, please keep in mind that your participation in a fraudulent institution can only add to make their fraud look legitimate. Remember, in a compromise between good and evil, only evil can profit. In closing, a tutorial is something we can call a pure lecture, unstained by institutions or their greed. If you are lucky, you will find a professor that will make those lectures even nicer. But most commonly, a tutorial that fits you is an adventure that will enhance your mind in the privacy of your own life. Oh, and one more thing. One of your greatest works won't be art or poetry or narrated books, but the tutorials that will profoundly alter the minds and the lives of others.